guys, so we're back at you this week with a new video. We're gonna talk about having a bathroom in your van. And we're also gonna sit down at the end, talk about some pros and cons about having a bathroom in the van to help you decide if it's right for you. Now, before we get started, if you like videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps us know what kind of content you guys like. And we always love hearing from you in the comments section. So feel free to drop any questions that you have down there. So first things first, I'm gonna give you a little tour of our bathroom and Alex is gonna talk more about the specs of the bathroom. So we do have a fully enclosed toilet and shower. So it's technically a wet bath because the toilet is with the shower. We have this really nice Nautilus, it's a little squeaky, <laughs> self-cleaning retractable door. This is really nice. These are custom made, so they do take a little bit of time to get from Nautilus if you're thinking about having something like this in your van. But it's super functional because you don't have to worry about a shower curtain sticking to you when you're taking a shower, which is kind of annoying. So we love having this and it's really minimal, which is really nice. Now in this bathroom, this is actually our second van conversion, we decided to do real tile. I know you might think we're a little crazy, but after now six months, six months of being on the road, driving pretty much every day, there are literally no cracks in the grout, nothing's fallen off. It's perfect, pretty much as good as it looks since we did it the first day. So the only reason why we did tile in this van is because we used a foam backer board instead of a heavy cement board like hardy board. So we saved a ton of weight because that foam backer board is waterproof and it's so lightweight, it's like styrofoam, that we decided the extra weight with the tile really wasn't gonna be that big of a deal. It added about 150 pounds, so all in all, it wasn't too bad. And we just love the way it looks. It's actually waterproof that way and it just looks really nice, so it's pretty cool. It was a ton of work. It took us about four days to tile this bathroom because we use really small tiles and it was just a lot of cutting. <laughs> and then from there, we have our shower head above that. It's great, it works like a normal shower. And then we have our separate urine diverting toilet. Now, every person in van life gets to decide how they want to go to the bathroom and if they even want a toilet in their van. We're going to sit down and talk about that a little bit later in the video. But our toilet is plumbed to a black water tank so that we don't have to carry a cassette somewhere to a toilet. We love this system. It can be turned into a composting toilet if you want that option or you can just put a bag in the back if you really got an emergency, but we mostly just use it for number one. If you've been watching our van build series, you'll know that we frame out our bathrooms with steel studs. One of the reasons is steel studs are stronger and lighter weight, and then we can actually cantilever the toilet over the shower pan. So instead of having a toilet sitting in the shower pan, it's actually hanging over the shower pan, and it has enough strength to be able to do that because of the steel studs. So that way our toes actually have somewhere to go when we're in the shower and we're not kicking something just like having a toe kick in a kitchen, right? Then you're not kicking the cabinets and in the bathroom, we're not kicking the toilet when we're in there. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the behind the scenes of our bathroom, the electrical system and the plumbing system. Now for hot water, we did wanna be able to take hot showers in our van, that was a big priority for us. So we have a two and a half gallon Bosch hot water heater that runs off of our battery system from our inverter. It's on a 220 circuit, so it has a 20 amp circuit breaker in our electrical compartment over here, the hot water heater is in the back of our plumbing compartment over here. For our shower system, we have a 23 gallon freshwater tank that's right here underneath this bench that feeds our shower. And we also use that tank for washing our dishes because the hose extends over to our sink. So we have hot water in our shower and hot water to do dishes and 23 gallons of fresh water to make it all happen. Side note, we do have an additional 13 gallons of fresh water over here that we use for drinking water that comes out of our sink through our filtration system. For plumbing, we use mostly PEX for the plumbing and shark bite connectors. However, when you plumb around your pump, you can't use rigid pipe within, I think it's like one to three feet around that pipe. You actually have to use a uh, braided nylon hose, something that's gonna be more flexible so that the pump as it vibrates doesn't snap any of the rigid hose. So we use half inch internal diameter, flexible braided nylon hose with barb fittings. And so 
more details about that in another video where I'm actually gonna go through how I assemble all of our plumbing, but that is what we use in this compartment between the fresh water, the hot water, and all of that feeds through cold and hot water PEX lines all the way up to our shower. Now, an important thing to do is make sure that you test your plumbing system before you put up the foam backer board. As Sarah mentioned, we use foam backer board because it's lighter and still waterproof. After we put up the foam backer board and attach it to the steel studs, we then come through and we use a seam tape by RedGuard to make sure that we waterproof every seam. And then from there, we use a RedGuard red paint that's a waterproofing paint that puts a waterproofing membrane on everything so that everything is fully waterproof. And that extends all the way down to our shower pan. So our shower pan is set so that no water can get in any of the cracks on the floor or touch the frame of the van. And if you're thinking about building a shower in your van, that's really important. You see some cool designs that people do in their vans, but are they actually waterproof? Because what's going to kill your van or kill your resale value is if you have water dripping down and hitting the bottom of your van and eventually rusting out the bottom of your van. So that was really important in our builds for ourselves and for our customers that we build vans for. We wrote them down because we can't remember anything this early in the morning. So the first pro you can shower anytime you want or go to the bathroom anytime you want. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's the best after a long day if you've been sweating to be able to shower before you climb into your nice clean bed. It's just one of the things we love about having a shower in our van. Not only that, but if you're a private person... You have okay. more privacy. Yeah. I was making sure that was the next one. You that have, was. You have more privacy. So if you know that you're a private person and you don't like going in public restrooms or showering in public places, then you probably want to put a shower and a toilet in your van so that you can use your bathroom in the privacy of your own home on wheels. <laughs> yeah. And there are a few cons. We have three cons to go along with our three pros. The first con is that you do have to have extra power and extra water storage. For us, we have a hot water heater, so we needed extra power to power that hot water heater. And obviously you need more water if you're gonna be using water to shower. Now, one of the cons, I remember this one, yeah. is that you're gonna have to find somewhere to dump your tank. So with a shower, you're gonna have a gray water tank. We have ours mounted underneath our van. It's only five gallons, so we have to empty it pretty often. And then with your toilet, if you're doing a black water tank, you're gonna also have to find somewhere to empty that. Now, if you have a composting toilet, same thing, or ca cassette toilet, you're still gonna have to take that cassette out, dump that somewhere, and get rid of the number two somewhere. Yeah. And the third con is that it does take up space in your van. Our shower bathroom area does take up 45 inches from the front of the van to the back of the van, which is one of the reasons that we don't have a 144 wheelbase. The 170 wheelbase allowed us to have an enclosed toilet shower area, which is pretty high on our priority list. So we wanted to talk about why we really decided that the, the pros are, were worth it, weighed it against the cons, and decided that we definitely wanted a bathroom in our van. Now the first thing is yes, it takes up more space, but we also knew we didn't want to store stuff in there. We wanted to be able to easily just shower or go to the bathroom whenever we want, not having to pull a bunch of stuff out of there. So we don't ever store anything in there. I don't think we ever have. It yeah. is literally just a bathroom. So it does take up space. If you know space is important to you, then you know you got to weigh those pros and cons. <laughs> yeah. Second is that we did want to be able to take hot showers. That was important for us when we were on the road. And so we do have a hot water heater and we designed our whole system around being able to take hot showers. And then not only that, but we wanted to be self-contained. So we didn't want to have to deal with pulling a cassette out of a toilet or dealing with that. Even the composting toilets like Nature's Head still have a cassette for the urine. So for us, we plumbed that into a black water tank so that we literally don't have to touch pee and we don't have to worry about taking something out and carrying it to a toilet or facility where we can actually dump that. The way that we have it plumbed is just a hands-off, self-contained, we don't really have to touch it. <laughs> yeah, that was really important because I knew I would be the one doing that. And another thing that we designed our system around is that we also wanted privacy. Now, we have, are married, we've been married for a few years, but we wanted to keep some things private in the bathroom, so we wanted a door 
on our shower and on our toilet. We didn't want to pull a toilet out from underneath a bench and just squat in front of the other person. Everybody has their own preference, but for us, we wanted privacy, we wanted a door, and we love the Nautilus shower door because it allows us to have that privacy. Yeah, we've talked about this before. One of the coolest things about van life is you get to choose what you want to design into your van, and everybody's van is different and customizable to their own needs. And so we just sat down and talked about what we wanted in a bathroom and what was best for us in our relationship. And you get to do the same, especially if you're doing this with a partner. So hopefully this video helped you decide if having a bathroom in your van is worth it or not uh, leave any questions down in the comment section below we love hearing from you guys if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want more of the information specs details our plumbing diagrams electrical diagrams the size of our our shower toilet area all of those measurements we do have all of that in our van layout guide link is down below and because right now it's black friday weekend we're <gasps> discounting it half off we've ne off. literally never done this so snag it while you can if you're watching this later i'm sorry the sale is over it's only for this weekend so there's perks to watching the video when it comes out <laughs> yep. ain't that right but it's still available down below if you want it when you're watching this later months later whenever you're watching it so that is it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back at you next week. Bye. See ya.